Hey, welcome to How It Happens. I'm John McQuilkin. Thanks for tuning in. First in the news, Ty Pennington from the TV series Extreme Makeover Home Edition has been arrested for driving under the influence. The police pulled him over on May 5th, determined he was drunk, and charged him with DUI. Now, Ty Pennington has already released a statement. He says, I take full responsibilities for my actions, and it was stupid to drive drunk. Paris Hilton, perhaps you could take a lesson from Ty Pennington. Next in the news, Tom Cruise has just bought a brand new home. It has a tennis court, it has a pool. How much do you think he paid for that house? If you said $35 million, you're right. $35 million, can you believe it? Next in the news, uh, actor Tom Sizemore. Do you guys know who he is? He's been arrested yet again for drug charges. This time down in Bakersfield, California. He was there filming a movie with another actor named Jason Salcedo. They were both arrested. They got into some type of altercation. The hotel staff called the police. Tom Sizemore was arrested for drugs and drug paraphernalia, and Jason Salcedo was arrested for a parole violation. Go figure. Next in the news, folks, Helen Mirren, who portrayed Queen Elizabeth in the film The Queen, has turned down an invitation from Buckingham Palace to meet the Queen. Uh, she was invited to dine with the Queen, but she's here in the United States filming a film, and she says she just couldn't work it into her schedule. And folks, this is a doozy. A petition has been started online to get Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger to pardon Paris Hilton so that she doesn't have to serve any jail time. Now I've heard everything. Folks, on this day in history, back in 1914, Paramount Pictures was formed. And on this day in history, back in 1884, U.S. President Harry S. Truman was born. And on this day in history, back in 1940, singing sensation Ricky Nelson was born. Folks, did you go see a film this past weekend? If you did, I bet you went and saw Spider-Man 3, now didn't you? That film brought in a sensational $151 million. That's $151 million in its opening week. Incredible. Uh, Disturbia came in number two at 5.8 mil for a grand total of $60 million. Fracture, a disappointing 3.7 mil for a grand total of $26.7 million. The Invisible brought in 3.2 for a grand total of $12.5 million. And the film Next brought in 2.8 mil for a grand total of $12 million. So if you went to see a film this past weekend, the box office wants to give you a great big thank you. In Celebrity Birthdays, Little House on the Prairie's Melissa Gilbert turns 43 years old and the incomparable Don Rickles turns 81. And I'm sure they're both watching, so I want to give them both a great big old Hollywood Happens happy birthday. In shoutouts, I want to do a shout out to Tex Rooster, that's T-E-X, R-O-O-S-T-E-R. -O -O -E I want to do a shout out to Sash Pro, that's S-A-S-H-P-R-O. And I want to do a shout out to Him 101, that's H-M-M 101. I want to give them all a shout out for their incredible support. I couldn't do a show without people like you. Well, that's it for today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to become a subscriber, it is real easy and it doesn't cost a dime. To see that orange button that says subscribe, just click on it. And when you do, you'll get my videos as soon as I upload them. Hey, if you like videos here on YouTube, it's real important that you rate them. Do you see them stars? Well, just click on that fifth star if you enjoyed the show. Well, that's it. I thank you for watching, and I thank all my new subscribers. You guys are completely awesome. I'm going to have another show real soon. I promise you that. So until then, take care, everybody, and I'll see you in Hollywood.